Werner Tobin here at Ag in Motion in Saskatoon. I'm over at AGI now, catching up with Ron Kluskins. Ron, how's it going? It's going great. How about you? I'm, I couldn't be better. Here I am at AGI talking about a new product. You've got a pre-cleaner for AGI mixed flow dryers here. Ron, what are you trying to achieve? Well, we developed this dryer over the course of the last couple of years, and the whole purpose of it is to uh, clean the grain, partially clean the grain prior to it going into the dryers. Um, so that's really the main objective of it. Now let's talk about the product here. Let's look up at the top of this machine. I see something new that I haven't seen before. What is it? Well, right now what we're looking at is the roof of a 16 foot dryer. So we have one on display here at AIM um, specifically to show off our new pre-cleaner. So the way that uh, this works and some of the components the upper portion of the gravity fill gets changed out, so we have a, uh, a series of plates in there that distribute the grain a little bit, open it up, and allows air to flow through it. We've got screens on the far side of this gravity fill section, and it gets drawn through by this fan and transition on this side of it. So that sucks the, the fines and the chaff out of the grain as it's falling into the dryer and we blow it off to a cyclone that we can collect all that material and uh, dispose of it wherever or feed it to the cattle if we want. Talk about, I guess, the benefits for, for growers when you're talking to them. You know, um, you're removing fines and chaff, a big challenge for a lot of growers. Yeah, well, mixed flow dryers inherently are pretty dirty machines. Um, so what this does is it's going to clean up the, the farmyard for one thing, um, that's definitely a benefit, especially if the wife gets kind of sideways about dust and dirt blowing around the farm. Um, but really what it's going to do is it's going to clean the material up before it enters the dryer. It allows us to get better air penetration of the grain, consequently more efficient. Um, and since we've removed all that material out, in final storage in wherever the farmer is storing it in their grain bin, it'll reduce the amount of fines that are going to concentrate in the middle of the bin, which really aids in aeration and can prolong the storage, uh, storage life of the crop. Now, it's a, it's a nice fit, right, for mixed flow dryers? Absolutely, yeah. If we've, uh, we've been building mixed flow dryers since 1990, um, made all kinds of changes to them, improvements for sure, uh, automated them, and we have one here that uh, is set up and ready to go at the AIM site. It's been here for a few years, but it is gonna be a real game changer for us as far as the cleanliness of our dryers and making them that much more efficient. Final question for you, and that is availability. Can we get our hands, can growers get their hands on it for 2024? Absolutely they can. We have availability for the end of the year. Um, we're looking about six weeks or so for production. Uh, so anybody can get their hands on a machine for this harvest season and uh, be able to uh, realize some real energy efficiency and profit saving uh, or profit producing gains by putting in a good mixed flow dryer. In Canada and the U.S. or? Yeah, in the, in the U.S. too. Yeah, awesome. both. Great stuff, Ron. Hey, appreciate you making some time for real agriculture here at Agamotion. No problem. Thanks very much. You have a great day.